Look everyone, I got bees! And it wasn't even intentional, I just happened to plant this tree here. I've been farming trees for maybe around a few hours now? Or something? On and off, it hasn't been consistent, and look at me! I got a bee! Beehive. Or is this... this is a bee nest, right? Yeah, this is a bee nest. Beehives are the ones you make. And you can see with these trees that I've been planting, I've just been leaving the uh, large ones, so over time they've <laughs> accumulated and pretty soon I'm just gonna have a forest of only large ones because they're a pain in the rear end to cut down so I've just kind of been letting them sit but you know really good at procrastinating I am because <laughs> I'm gonna have to take them down sometime if I want to build anything here which I do intend to but that's for another day anyways you know let's do something with these bees sometime I'm not gonna start with them though I'm gonna start with something different I forgot to do an introduction so Hello, welcome to episode 2 of my lovely single player and completely original series idea. <laughs> I said that in the very wrong order, but that's okay, it's staying. Um, I'm not quite ready to start, I just thought I'd show off the bee, because I just noticed it right now. Um, so, I'll see you in maybe a couple hours my time, a few seconds your time. Alright, so I'm ready now, it's been a little bit, I've had time to prepare. Hello, welcome to the real beginning of the episode. I wanted to show you some things that I've been working on before we start our project for today, and that's namely this house. Um, I've added another section to it, and you can see I've kind of formed it around the greenery instead of removing the greenery to conform with the house, and I want to keep that theme with whatever I build in the jungle, because I think the jungle is a pretty beautiful biome, and it's hard to wreck it in my mind. <laughs> I've I've kind of had some difficulty shaping the house because I don't want to ruin any of it because I'm so fond of it. So that's my idea for that. And I think I'm going to add one element to the house each episode, at least for now, just as a, like a little fun ongoing project on top of our other things like the bees, which we'll get to later on today. Um, I also wanted to show you my exploits in the mine. I'm going to cut out the part of me walking down here because it's quite painful. I mean, bonk, 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 bonk in my head all the way down. It's worth it, though. I still think it looks pretty cool. Seven years later, and now we're back at the bottom of the mine. Well, not back. We're here for the first time. I'm back. My goodness. <laughs> I cannot commentary today. Um, And you can see I've left a bunch of diamond ores kind of sticking out. It's kind of funny. I've dug a whole bunch of uh, strip mines, and most of the ores I've actually found while digging this section out. Um, and I've left them in place because I don't have any enchantments, and I'd like to take full advantage of Fortune 3 if I can. You'll also notice that I have a whole array of pickaxes. This used to be um, about half full, but I took most of them out digging this area out. So you can imagine getting an enchanting setup is a priority right now. I don't know what it is, but for some reason, when I jump up here, my character always seems to favor the right side. Like, whenever I jump up, he always goes to the right side, no matter which way I'm pointing. So if I point over here, see the still goes to the right. It's weird. Not sure what that is. Anyways, the reason I've been gathering so much stone is for what I have planned over here on this little spot. I spent a while trying to find the exact placement, and I think that's good. And I want to build a giant stone pillar that's sort of ruined, sort of like the way I did the base for this, and it's going to hold up a little bit of a house, house thing. I'm, I'm not quite sure about the style yet, but we'll get to that. And obviously the stone pillars, they start, and we can begin with that. But here's some of the stuff I've gathered. Uh, it's not much. I mean, it's probably only going to get us about halfway, but I think it's going to be good for today. So let's build a nice foundation over here and get that thing established before we work on the bees off in that direction. Three long hours of building later and we have this. <laughs> Now, the reason it took three hours is because I rebuilt it twice, and that's because the first design I did not like one bit. It was just too symmetrical, not, not detailed enough, didn't really show much depth. It was just a big cylinder poking up to the sky, so I tore it down and built this instead, and I'm, I'm really fond of this, this build. Now, looking at my hotbar, you'll see my level is now only seven, and that's because I did indeed die for the first time landing on that little piece of wood you saw earlier jumping down. I, I missed the water, and I was so surprised that I forgot to uh, record a segment, so unfortunately the first death of the series is, is long gone. I think I got a screenshot of chat, though, when I, when I died. I did remember that afterwards. 
So, I suppose I should explain my plan for this. Well, originally I wanted it to be just a big stone pillar with a giant platform on top where I would have any base amenities like farms, maybe animal pens if I could figure out a way to get animals up there, and stuff like that. And I still want that to be the main plan, however, I want to add something, and that is a tree coming through the center. I think that would look pretty cool and add some color to, well, it's very gray expanse, so yeah. That's the plan. Anyways, I'm pretty much done working on that for now. I, I want to move on to something else because, I mean, three hours is a long time to be building something. I know some people grind more, but that's about my limit, so let's move on. Actually, before I begin with the bees, I want to wrangle these horses out of my cow and sheep pit. And you might be wondering, Kian, where did you get these leads? Or how did you get these leads? And I'll tell you how. They're video game characters, doesn't matter, right? Oh, that's not gonna work. Oh, this might be a painful process. Okay. I'll be back. <laughs> Several years of tugging later and we have them out. Actually, no, it wasn't that bad. It only took a couple minutes. Anyways, let's, let's work on something actually fun and productive and not maintenance related. <laughs> okay, let's do this. Now, if I'm correct, I'm pretty sure if you place a campfire underneath a bee nest or hive, the bees won't get mad at you when you harvest the thingies. The thingies? Th these are honey honeycombs, not thingies. Um, yeah, it looks, looks to be the case. Alright, well, there you go. Okay, now we can build some, uh, some hives. Yeah, that's right, hives. These are the nests. The hives are the ones you make. Yes, I need to remember that. Yeah, I think, I think so. So let's, let's do that. Yeah. And we'll start increasing our bee population. Aha, there we go. Perfect. Okay. So my plan for this area is to build a small little bee village with little, little tiny houses. Ooh, here, they're out here. With little tiny houses poking out. Just in this little area. I think it will be pretty cool and give me a nice supply of honey. I don't think I'm going to use honey as a building block much. I probably will only use it as a substitute for slime blocks because I have no resources and no way to build a slime farm right now. It's just, I'm not that far in the game, so right now honey is my best option for that sort of block. Unfortunately, that means I can't make sticky pistons. They should totally change the sticky piston recipe to include honey, but unfortunately they haven't yet, so I'm stuck with regular pistons and sticky orange honey blocks. One thing that I just noticed right now is I got two charcoal from breaking that campfire, but the campfire, I only crafted it with one coal. So essentially, I can double my smelting power just by crafting everything into campfires and breaking it again. Huh. I'll have to work on that sometime. Actually, you know what? I don't think I was onto something very significant because I believe you don't get the uh, logs back. No. Okay. So it does require some sacrifice. So <laughs> there goes all my enthusiasm. Oh well. <laughs> it was worth a try. It was worth a try. Um, so yeah, I'm going to set up a small house, I think, for my little beehive and hopefully we can breed some of these bees up and get a small little community going. Why is the bee all the way up there? <laughs> all right, fly you uh, little square. Well, they're not square, they're rectangle. <laughs> I'm getting distracted. Let's build. Uh-oh. I don't think they like that. <laughs> Uh-oh. No. Okay, that one's gonna die. I think I had three though, so I'll still be able to breed them up. Hopefully. If not, then we'll have to return to this later on, but yeah. Anyways, what happened was I broke the hive because I was moving it. No no bees were living in it, but apparently they still take that as a sign of aggression. So yeah, we're down a bee, but that should be okay because I think we have one more. Ta-da! I have created not one, not two, but three little bee houses. I've tried to kind of emulate what um, a regular bee Hive? Yeah, hive. Like one of these. I've tried to emulate these in sort of a bigger form and also make them pretty. And I think it's turned out okay. Um, my goal for this is to have three in each. And I'll have this a little bit of a farming area, perhaps with some redstone later on. I've also been breeding up these bees with a bunch of flowers I took some time to gather. I have pretty much sweep this prairie biome completely clean of flowers, except for the ones over here, obviously. Um, so yeah, this, this is where it's at. Um, in the future, though, I'm going to eliminate this tree and probably build a bigger tree. That might be in the uh, next video or the video after that, depending on how I feel. But for now, I'd like to say farewell. Um, this is the end of the episode. I'm finished. 
Um, but before I go, I'd like to do a little heart to heart. Um, thank you very much for watching my videos, or video if this is your first one. Uh, I'd, I appreciate your presence here, and the fact that you watched all the way through means that I'm entertaining enough to capture your attention, and it's really nice to see that people enjoy the content I make. So thank you from me to you. I appreciate you. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this episode, and I hope it inspired you in some way. And I will see you, hopefully, next time in the next one. Goodbye.